welcome back friends to another episode of Lynch Paints where I Lynch will be showing you all how to paint the legendary Count Dooku for Star Wars Legion. So let us grab our paints and brushes and let's get straight into it. And of course as always before we dive straight in we're going to need a selection of paints and these are the ones that I have used today. Pause the screen if you like, make a little list, a little note if you if you wish. Um, alongside such paints we're going to need some brushes. So we're going to need a medium sized brush, a finer detail brush, a little dry brush and a teeny weeny teeny tiny brush for those teeny tiny places. So our first step as always or most of the time, it will be to apply a black acrylic primer over the model. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at his robes. Well, his torso first, then we'll do his robes. Uh, so we're gonna want to grab some black and a little bit of Inky by Darkness. And then we're gonna want a 50-50 mix. And then with a medium sized brush, we're just gonna go over his clothing first. The reason why I'm using Incubi Darkness is because his cape and his belt will be brown and I don't want to use another brown because otherwise it's just going to look all the same and a little bit boring. So I'm going to add in this Incubi Darkness which is like a very very dark blue so that should hopefully add a little bit of contrast and just make it stand out a little bit more. And now the next stage we're just going to add in more Incubi Darkness and we're going to pick out some of the raised areas just to give it a highlight. So you can use the same brush as earlier or you can swap out for a smaller brush, it's entirely up to you. And then just as a final highlight I'm going to use again more of the Incubi Darkness and a fine detail brush. It's going to pick out the real raised areas and the edges. So I've changed my mind a little bit. Um, I'm just going to redo the boots but I'm going to use instead some of the Storm of Omen fur mixed in with some Abaddon black as I want the boots to be more grey than blue just again so it just stands out a little bit more so just grabbing that fine detail brush and then just using a little bit of water just to thin it down we're just going to go over the boots so now that the darker areas are done we are going to draw our attention over to his cape so for this we're going to want some Abaddon black and I'm going to use some of this uh, more yeah, Morn Fang Brown and then with quite a large brush just because we want to cover as much area as possible uh, we're just going to go over his cape and again with these colours we're going to use the exact same for his belt so now I'm just going to swap over to a medium sized brush and we are going to add in more of the Morn Fang Brown and then we're just going to build up layer by layer until we get a sort of brighter brown. And we're just picking out the highlights for now. Uh, at this stage you can if you wanted to use a dry brush because there are lots of lovely textures for the dry brush to pick up on. But for now I'm just going to use this medium sized brush. So that's the brown done and then what I did was is that I mixed in just a little bit of the Screaming Skull into the Mornfang Brown um, just to add a little bit more highlighting just kind of round the, I don't know what the name for it is but this kind of piece round his neck um, and then I just went over just a couple of those little accessories like the sort of chain there and the bits on his belt just using a little bit of this silver. Uh, so now we're going to move over to his face and we are going to want to have a nice mixture of this Kiss of Flesh and this Genius of the Purple. And we 
are going to want a rather fine detail brush and probably a 50-50 mix of this and then much the same is like with the um, with the brown colours, we're just going to start out with a with a darker colour and then build our layers up gradually. And don't worry too much if it looks a bit streaky to start with, because of course as we are adding more and more layers, it will smooth out over time. So it may look a little bit jarring at first, but as we are adding in more of the Kisvel flesh, it will start to look more and more like an actual human. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of the Screaming Skull and we are going to make our skin tone brighter and brighter until we have achieved into the shade that we are after. So keep your paints nice and thinned with a little water and then with a nice small brush and just take your time with doing this step. So I went back over the face with a bit of a bit of a glaze so I kind of mixed up a little bit of the purple um, a little bit of brown just to bring the skin tone down a notch um, so I'm just going to go back over and just highlight again some of the areas and then what I'll do is I'll move over to um, his eyes and his hair so the eyes I'm going to do off camera because I need to hold it really close to my face um, and I don't think that you guys at home want to see a very blurry close up of the Count Dooku uh, and my hands going everywhere and then I'll do his hair. So for his hair and facial hair, I'm just going to grab some of this um, Storm Vermin fur as the base colour. And then I'm going to introduce a little bit of this Administratum Grey. And then finally some of this White Scar. So grabbing a fine detail brush. We're just going to go over all of his hair. So, now that we have got all of that done out of the way with, it's time to move on to the most fun part, which is of course, painting his iconic lightsaber. So we're going to start out with this Mephiston Red. I'm just going to grab a nice chunky brush, and we're going to apply just a nice base coat over the top. Now that the base coat is applied, uh, there's one or two ways we can go about this. We can either let it dry and dry brush over the top with sort of lighter shades of red, um, or we can wet blend. So I'm going to go with the wet blending first, and then if it doesn't quite work out, then I can always just dry brush over the top. So with the lightsabers, generally you would use uh, a white to make a colour brighter, um, but using red is going to turn it pink, and I don't think we want to do that with this model. So we're going to use yellow to brighten up our reds, and we want nice smooth brush strokes to hide any, or rather reduce any sort of streaking effects. Because we, we want it to be a nice, solid colour. Like 
So just as a final stage, and again, you don't have to do this at all. You can just field him as is, obviously um, do a base for him. But I'm going to dry brush some red to create a bit of a red glow over him. So I've mixed up a little bit of Avalon Black and the Mephiston Red. Um, and I'm just going to very carefully just dry brush over the top with just a little bit of this red. Um, and then I will build it up in its intensity. But less is more. So if you want to try this out but you're worried you're going to um, perhaps make a bit of a mess of it, then go for a nice dark red and put as little paint on your dry brush as you can and then just see how it turns out and then just build up gradually in stages. So here we are at the end of the video. So this is how I went about painting Count Dooku for Star Wars Legion. He is hands down one of my top three favorite characters from Star Wars, uh, from, from all the films. And it's been an absolute joy to be able to paint him and show you guys all at home or on the train or on the bus or wherever you're watching in the world, um, how to go about painting him to a high, well, I personally say a high standard, um, but to others it might not be, but anyway, to a good standard at least. So, if you wanted to pick up one of these for yourselves, I have a link in the description for Wayland Games, they're a UK based retailer, and if you click the link below, um, a little bit goes towards me to create more so videos and projects and bits and pieces, so it's, it's a great way to help out my, um, my little channel that's going along quite nicely uh, with the with the thanks and support from everybody out there if you are new then a subscribe would be massively appreciated a like as well if you liked this video would be equally as amazing there will be stills and reels of this model over at my instagram page at lynch paint so if you want to check me out over there that again will be awesome and I think that that will do it for this week. So without further ado, stay safe, stay beautiful, and we'll see you all next time.